Yo, Floyd Mayweather, call me, man. Call me, bro. You just going to go get a whole beard and a fade downloaded on your head and chin and, and act like nobody knows what happens? Well, what are we doing? Where are we right now? I know these women out here getting booties and chests put on them. But, man, wh why would you do this? Why would you go get this? Put on your face. What man did you look at and say, I'd be way more handsome if I had a beard? So I'm about to go down to the to the beard shop and get them to plug me a beard in. I mean, does that come off? Like what what were you going through? What were you thinking when they were puncturing your face and just planting each little hair in? You got the beard of a chia pet, man. You're going to have to water them. Did they plant beard seeds in your cheeks? This is obvious, bro. I could even see, I could forgive some of y'all for even getting the, the little dial that Beijing put in, man. But you done took it too far, Floyd. You done took it too far. You done let them plug all this stuff into your skin, man. Now, what happens when one of them hairs grow within the pore? And then you get an infection. And then you need some clindamycin or something to clean it up because they're going to have to bust it open because a lot of times when black men get these types of transplants, those hairs tend to grow backwards. And now it looks like you got a whole egg on your face. And then somebody has to bust it. And when they bust it, I'm scared that a bird is going to fly out of that bump and just start pecking people. Why would you do this, Floyd? You have more than enough money in the bank. You rich, man. Why would you do this? Do you think this makes you look any better? It doesn't, man. You look exactly the same. But now, you look like a guy with a fake beard. With a fake beard. It's almost like, did they even attach a USB cable to, like, the back of your head that you got to plug in at night so that the beard will somehow grow? Why would you do this to yourself? Why? Why? We don't front. We never fake the, the funk, man. And I see a lot of guys getting the fake hair and all that stuff, but this is just taking it too far. Because you didn't just get a fake beard. You have a beard implant. You have a beard implant, which means you laid there in that chair and they were just, they were just busting your face. They will bust, they will bust the pores of your skin with a little pop, and then they will plant the seed of a beard. Why would you do this, man? And it don't even look like it's gonna come out right. It look like you're gonna have a, a full beard of eyelash hair that's gonna grow out. And see, then the women you be messing with, they're gonna be trying to trim that to use for their lashes, bro. Listen, call me, man. It is very important that you give me a call because we need to talk about this. Because you're going to need something to help the beard to keep those pores open. You're, gonna, you're probably going to need some benzamycin gel. If you don't know what that is, go look it up. But that's probably what you're going to need. Because this is not, this is going to get ugly, brother. And I pray to God, I pray. I pray, I'm going to ask Father God, right? Father God, please don't let this brother kilo it. Please don't let this brother kilo it. Oh, Father God, I don't want to look at Floyd and see like a bunch of AirPods on his face. Please, God, please. I don't want to see the Bluetooths all over his face and chin. He doesn't deserve it, Lord. Call me, man, immediately. Call me.